G'day cocktail lovers, I hope you've been keeping well. I hope you're ready for another cocktail. I've decided to go with a really nice, simple three ingredient cocktail here. This is for, well, it's for two events coming up in the week where I upload this, Cachaça Day and Brazil's National Day. Cachaça is the national spirit of Brazil. It's a cane syrup. Well, it's based on cane, sugar cane juice. Wow, that sentence should not have been so difficult to say. Uh, it's, it's, it's a cousin to rum. The base of rum is molasses, which is a byproduct of sugar production. It's like a boiled down residue from sugar. Uh, whereas cachaça is made from sugarcane juice, not boiled down molasses, which gives it a, a lighter color. People often say grassy, which I don't think is the most appealing way to describe it. But, uh, and this one, this is simply uh, lemon and cachaça and sugar syrup. Really simple drink and Just a great thirst quencher. When, if you look up cachaça, you'll often see the caipirinha. That's like the quintessential cachaça drink. And it's another simple one. You cut up wedges of lime, a uh, spoonful or two of sugar, and just cachaça on top of that. And you, you know, muddle and you're off. And hey, if you've ever had a caipirinha and you want to experiment, just throw some different fruit in as well. I see lots of people just experimenting with adding all sorts of different fruit, but I thought I'd go the other way. So, hey, let's go back to before I drank it to when I made it so you can make this nice simple drink and enjoy one with me. Let's get into the making of it. Simple, three ingredient. We can do this together really quickly. In terms of booze, cachaça is the only booze in this drink. Oh, wow, I'm running a bit low and after I put in two ounces, I'll have even less might have to pay a visit to the bottle uh, But for now, we are going to add two ounces, 60 mils of cachaça. I have some lemon juice I squeezed earlier and we are going to add 30 mils or one ounce of lemon juice to our shaker. The final touch is honey syrup. You don't very often add pure honey to a cocktail because it tends to not mix in. It tends to solidify in the cold beverages. So honey syrup is often the go. You dilute it with water. Some people do 50-50. Some people recommend two to one, two parts honey to one part water. Some people even recommend three parts honey to one part water. This is a honey syrup I made. I got some honey from a local beekeeper and it's basically it was so rich, it tends to go solid at room temperature. So I went 50-50, half water, half honey, but uh, you can do it to your taste. And uh, again, it's it's fun experimenting with different sugar syrups. If you didn't, if you have no honey in your house, if you don't want to make a honey syrup, by all means, go with a simple syrup. But uh, honey and all its varieties can add a very interesting character to the drink. In this case, we're going to add half an ounce or 15 mils of honey syrup. And that's it. Add some ice to the shaker, put it together, bang it in hard and give that a solid shake for about 10 seconds. It's recommended to have this in a glass with ice. So you know what? I'm just going the dirty dump. Putting it into a rocks glass. Hmm, nice levels there. I was thinking I might have had to add some more ice, but it's fine. And again, because my whole thing of liking this drink was it was so simple. Just gonna put a lemon wheel in, and uh, there we have uh, the drink of the day. That is the lemon beet. A nice, simple drink, so easy and quick to make. Really refreshing. It's just, wow, I wanna sit by a pool, not with other people, because you all have diseases. Uh, I wanna sit by a pool by myself, maybe with a whole pitcher of these, and just top up the glass, honestly. I'd like that, that would be good. Uh, so I'll just hang out with you in the virtual sense on the internet. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd love to hang out with you some more. So if you subscribe, hit the notification bell, you'll know when I upload new videos, lots to come along in the future. But wherever you are, please don't take the disease line too uh, personally. It's just the world we live in now. Uh, I do hope you're actually taking care of yourself and taking care of people around you. But until I see you again, Cheers.